I'm Jay Ball Staunton, and welcome to Fukuoka. Fukuoka is the capital city of Fukuoka Prefecture on the northern shore of the Japanese island of Kyushu. And about an hour or so out of Fukuoka City, you can find a place called Yanagawa. I'm currently on the Yanagawa River cruise, and it sure beats all the planes, trains, and automobiles it's taken me to get here. It's good to sit back, relax, and it's a really nice way to take in a beautiful city. My name is Esaki. 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 Jaybor. 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 Yeah, Ripper. Where do you get your big pole from? Oh, right. We're about to go through a small tunnel. And you've got some old, beautiful houses here. It looks like there's a shrine here. Spectacular. The best thing about it being a woman it's a prerogative to have a little fun, fun, fun. All right, so he's giving me a hand on the pole. Within about four seconds, I've actually turned us around the wrong way. We're going backwards. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually turned us into a, a shrubbery. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it in your capable hands. Cheers, brother. Nailed it. All right, so one of the local delicacies here in Yanagawa is unagi, which is eel. So I'm gonna duck in, give it a shot. Yum, yum. So when you come to Yanagawa, there are a number of restaurants that will sell unagi, and you can get it a myriad of ways. I've just gone for very basic grilled unagi on rice. Might get a bit of the old chili flake on there. So you'll see it's been grilled. Typically it has, you know, a marinade that they'll smear on it after they've cooked it. Really good, really fresh. It's just like any other sort of fresh fish. I guess the best you could sort of compare it to would just be like, you know, salmon, crispy skin salmon. So if you find yourself in Yanagawa, do yourself a favor and try unagi. You won't regret it. That's really good. Japan is unique in that the majority of the population follow two religions, Shintoism and Buddhism. We're standing here in front of a Shinto shrine, which you can identify by these Tori gates, which distinguishes shrines from temples. Just across the street from Fukuoka Station, right in the heart of the city. It's known for its shopping, its bars, and of course, its restaurants. Across the entire country, you can find these things. They're known as Yatai, and Fukuoka is absolutely renowned for it. They sell booze and food, and I'm gonna duck in and have myself a little treat. All right, so we've got what's known as Oden Daikon. A daikon is a type of radish, I believe. I'll tell you what, the atmosphere is great, the beer's cold, the food's fantastic. If you're in Fukuoka, drop on in, you'll absolutely love it. Come by? Come by! <laughs> We're here at Fukuoka Hakatonomori Stadium in Fukuoka. It's a 22,000 seat stadium that'll play host to four matches throughout the World Cup 2019. It's a sculpture called Pim Pam Poom by Federica Mata. So this stadium is actually unlocked from the looks of things. Hello. Hello. Sweet ass, let's go on the field, eh? Hello? All right, there's no one here. Goody! That was pretty cool. Oh, oh one-handed pickup, Staunton. On the toe. Staunton, left the bounce. 
Everybody stops. Staunton! Try time. Staunton, baby. I'm blowing. But I won the World Cup, so it's all good. Footy's hard, eh? Footy is hard. For some, not me. For more of my Japanese antics, head over to rugbypass.com. <laughs>